ಜೀವನ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ನಿರಂತರ ಕಲಿಕೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಅರ್ಥ ನಾವು ಮತ್ತೊಬ್ಬರ ಅಂತರಾಳದ ಆತ್ಮವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಹಾಗೂ ಅನುಭವಗಳಿಂದ ಕಲಿಯುತ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುವುದು ಇದು ನಮ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮವಿಶ್ವಾಸವನ್ನ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಸುತ್ತದೆ ಹಾಗೂ ನಾವು ನಿರ್ವಹಿಸುವ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯದ ಮೌಲ್ಯವರ್ಧನೆಗೆ ನೆರವಾಗ್ತದೆ ನಿರಂತರ ಕಲಿಕೆ ಬದುಕಿನ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಗ್ಗುಳುಗಳಲ್ಲೂ ಯಶಸ್ಸು ಕಾಣಲು ಬಹು ಮುಖ್ಯವಾಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಸಂಗತಿ ಎಂದು ಅಮೆರಿಕದ ಪೆನ್ಸಿಲ್ವೇನಿಯಾ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿಯ ಅಂತಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಸಂಬಂಧಗಳ ಕಾರ್ಯನಿರ್ವಾಹಕ ನಿರ್ದೇಶಕ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಓಮಿದ್ ಅನ್ಸಾರಿ ನೋಡಿದ್ರು ಇವರು ನಿಟ್ಟೆ ಪರಿಗಣಿತ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾನಿಲಯದ ಹದಿಮೂರನೇ ವಾರ್ಷಿಕ ಘಟಿಕೋತ್ಸವದಲ್ಲಿ ಘಟಿಕೋತ್ಸವ ಭಾಷಣವನ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ರು ನೂತನ ಪದವೀಧರರು ತಾವು ಗಳಿಸಿದ ಕೌಶಲ್ಯವನ್ನ ಸಮಾಜದ ಉನ್ನತೀಕರಣಕ್ಕೆ ವಿನಿಯೋಗಿಸಬೇಕು ಎಂದು ಕರೆ ನೀಡಿದ್ರು ಇದೇ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಶ್ರಾಂತ ಸರ್ವೋಚ್ಚ ನ್ಯಾಯಾಲಯದ ನ್ಯಾಯಮೂರ್ತಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಮಾಜಿ ಲೋಕಾಯುಕ್ತ ಸಂತೋಷ್ ಹೆಗ್ಡೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಉದ್ಯಮಿ ಶಶಿಕಿರಾನ್ ಶೆಟ್ಟಿ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಸಮಾಜದ ಏಳಿಗೆಗೆ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸಿರುವಂತಹ ಅಪಾರ ಕಾಣಿಕೆಯನ್ನ ಗುರುತಿಸಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರದಾನ ಮಾಡಲಾಯಿತು ಇನ್ನು ಘಟಿಕೋತ್ಸವ ಸಮಾರಂಭದ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷತೆ ವಹಿಸಿದ್ದವರು ನಿಟ್ಟೆ ಪರಿಗಣಿತ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದ ಕುಲಾಧಿಪತಿ ಎನ್ ವಿನಯ ಹೆಗ್ಡೆ ಅವರು ತಮ್ಮ ಭಾಷಣದಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಟ್ಟೆ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ನ ಮೂರು ಕ್ಯಾಂಪಸ್ಗಳನ್ನ ವಿಶ್ವದರ್ಜೆಗೆ ಉನ್ನತೀಕರಿಸಲು ಸರಿಸುಮಾರು ಸಾವಿರ ಕೋಟಿ ಅಂದಾಜು ವೆಚ್ಚದ ಯೋಜನೆ ಕಾರ್ಯಗತವಾಗ್ತಿದೆ ಹಾಗೆಯೇ ನಿಟ್ಟೆ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದ ಪದವೀಧರರು ತಮ್ಮ ಭವಿಷ್ಯದ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ರಾಯಭಾರಿಗಳ ರೀತಿ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಒಳಿತಿಗೆ ಪರಿಶ್ರಮಿಸಬೇಕು ಎಂದರು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ಡಾಕ್ಟರೇಟ್ ಮುನ್ನೂರ ತೊಂಬತ್ತೇಳು ಸ್ನಾತಕೋತ್ತರ ಫೆಲೋಶಿಪ್ಗಳು ಸೇರಿದಂತೆ ಒಟ್ಟು ಸಾವಿರದ ಇನ್ನೂರ ಐವತ್ತಾರು ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಪದವಿಗಳನ್ನು ಗಳಿಸಿದ್ರು ಹದಿನೆಂಟು ದತ್ತಿ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕಗಳು ನಿಟ್ಟೆ ಪರಿಗಣಿತ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದ ಹದಿಮೂರು ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕಗಳು ಹಾಗೂ ಅರವತ್ತ ಐದು ಮೆರಿಟ್ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಅತ್ಯುತ್ತಮ ಅಂಕ ಗಳಿಸಿದವರಿಗೆ ವಿತರಿಸಲಾಯಿತು ಪ್ರಾರಂಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಸರ್ವರನ್ನ ಸ್ವಾಗತಿಸಿದವರು ನಿಟ್ಟೆ ಪರಿಗಣಿತ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದ ಕುಲಪತಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ಮೂಡಿತಾಯ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾನಿಲಯ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನಲ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಭಾರತದ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯಗಳ ಮೌಲ್ಯಮಾಪನದ ಪಟ್ಟಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅರವತ್ತೈದನೇ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಗಳಿಸಿರುವುದು ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯ ಸಂಗತಿ ಎಂದು ಭಾಷಣದಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಿದರು ಇನ್ನು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಕೇಂದ್ರೀಯ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದ ವಿಶ್ರಾಂತ ಕುಲಾಧಿಪತಿ ಹಾಗೂ ನಿಟ್ಟೆ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಹಿರಿಯ ಸಲಹೆಗಾರರಾದ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಎನ್ ಆರ್ ಶೆಟ್ಟಿ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆ ಆಡಳಿತ ವಿಭಾಗದ ಸಹ ಕುಲಾಧಿಪತಿಗಳಾದ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಂ ಶಾಂತರಾಮ್ ಶೆಟ್ಟಿ ಆಡಳಿತ ವಿಭಾಗದ ಸಹ ಕುಲಾಧಿಪತಿ ವಿಶಾಲ್ ಹೆಗ್ಡೆ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯದ ಸಾಂಸ್ಥಿಕ ಸಾಮಾಜಿಕ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿ ಕಾರ್ಯಗಳ ಉಪಾಧ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸತೀಶ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಭಂಡಾರಿ ತಾಂತ್ರಿಕ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣದ ಉಪಾಧ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಮುಗೇರಾಯ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಿನ ನಿಟ್ಟೆ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಆಡಳಿತಾಧಿಕಾರಿ ರೋಹಿತ್ ಪೂಂಜ ಕುಲಸಚಿವ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಹರ್ಷ ಹಾಲಹಳ್ಳಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಪರೀಕ್ಷಾ ನಿಯಂತ್ರಕರಾದ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರಸಾದ್ ದಿ ಶೆಟ್ಟಿ ಉಪಸ್ಥಿತರಿದ್ದರು Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to Professor Yam Shantaram Shetty, a prominent orthopedic surgeon and uh, educator. As the first dean of our medical college and the first vice chancellor, he has been instrumental in shaping our university's identity and success. Ladies and gentlemen, we warmly welcome our pro-chancellor, Mr. Vishal Hegde too. Mr. Vishal Hegde brings in a unique blend of entrepreneurship and effective administration. He has been a director at Lamina Suspension Products Limited since 1992 and holds directorships in various group companies. Additionally, he serves as a trustee of the Nitte Education Trust. Sirs, on behalf of the university, a warm and hearty welcome to you. It is my pleasure to welcome the members of the Board of Management and the Academic Council who are present here. I also have the honor of welcoming our distinguished guests, Dr. N.R. Shetty, who needs no introduction, a doyen of technical education in India and also someone who has uh, tirelessly worked for developing NITE group as a center of excellence right from the beginning. To you, sir, I extend a very warm welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, we also have with us Mr. Gurupsad Adyantaya, the trustee of NITE Education Trust, Mr. Rohit Punja, Dr. Chandrasek Shetty, Dr. Raman Shetty, Dr. Satish Kumar Bandari, Dr. Balvir Reddy, Dr.
the highest standards of legal excellence and public service throughout his illustrious career. Having embarked on his educational journey at St. Elosia School in Mangalore and Christian School in Chennai, he later pursued a law degree at the Government Law College, Bangalore, now known as University Law College, Bangalore. His initiation into the legal profession in January 1966 marked the beginning of a remarkable journey, one that would seem ascent to the pinnacles of India's legal landscape. Notably, Honorable Justice Hegde was appointed as the Advocate General in February 1984 and in May in the same year, he was designated as the Senior Advocate, a honor deserved for those who demonstrate exceptional legal prowess. He continued to serve as Advocate General from 1984 to 1988, distinguishing himself as a stalwart in the legal fraternity. In November 1889, he achieved another distinguishing list. I have some message for the graduating students that the education does not come to an end with this graduation. Education is never ending and it is a continuing process. My dear graduating students, you have a great responsibility in regard to the future of this country. The country has developed a lot, but then there is a need for a change in the social thinking, which I hope you will be able to change the social thinking. My, when I was young, the society is to respect good work done by people and honor them. And if they committed any crime, they were socially boycotted. Things have changed very much in the society today. Consequently, a disease being become very prominent in the society called greed. Greed is no treatment. Greed is not afraid of law. Consequently, there is a lot of damage that is done to the economy of this country. You can, as youngsters getting into the society, can change it, provided you inculcate two values. One is contentment in life, and if you have contentment in life, you can definitely... 35 founded All Cargo, which would go on to become one of the most reputed shipping and logistic brands, well known in the realms of Indian industry, academia, academic institutions and society at large. He steered all cargo into multiple logistic verticals like container freight stations and inland container depots, ultra-modern logistic parks, supply chain management and express distribution to over 20,000 pin codes covering every corner of the country. All these diversifications originated from an extraordinary effort to build global market leadership in less than container load, LCL consolidation. And today, All Cargo owns offices and franchising network spanning 180 countries. It is noteworthy that the global business, which was built through several acquisitions, deep integration, and technology-driven strategic turnarounds. In the process of creating value for all stakeholders, all Cargo has created direct employment for over 10,000 people graduate. Sari is also the recipient of several other awards, such as the Central Pennsylvania Engineers Council's Technical Achievement Award in 2005, the American Society of Engineering Education's Harden Simons Prize for the Best Paper in 1994, and he has also been the recipient of the IEEE Third Millennial Medal for outstanding contribution to Region 2 and Susquehanna section of IEEE in 2000. Dr. Ansari is a senior and respected member of uh, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. Dr. Ansari has, multiple, uh, has uh, expertise in multidisciplinary fields including electrical engineering, mathematics, computer engineering and computational methods. He has published more than 100 refereed articles in top journals and proceedings 
in various areas related to his expertise. Most of his published work reports the development effort beyond the scenes. They assisted you to thrive academically and personally and paved your way to get to this stage. Can you please recognize their contribution to your success by giving them a huge round of applause? Thank you, please be seated. Could I ask the parents, grandparents, spouses, children, and family members, and loved ones of today's graduates to stand and allow the administration, faculty, staff, and graduate to applaud you in deep gratitude. All of you have contributed greatly to our graduate success. Thank you, and please be seated. Graduate, you have worked very hard and made many sacrifices. Your talent, dedication, self-determination, and persistence are to be commended.